Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and I've got to quickly move my mic over a slight bit. Anyway guys, today we are back for what should hopefully be the final episode of working on the lab. It's been, what, four episodes now of working on this project? I think it's been pretty fun. Uh, so next episode we'll probably get back into working on getting new animals in, and all that malarkey. Um, why right, concrete powder? So I didn't finish all of it. I did. I was actually told by my good friend Evelardo, a uh, quick way to get concrete, and that was immensely helpful because goodness gracious, this stuff is a real pain to like get. It, it just is. It's very annoying. Anyway, if I quickly come right here, and if let's see, what do we even need to do? We need to finish off the top bit there. I, oh, I've just actually checked my reference here. That's not even supposed to be a window. I didn't even realize that, huh. Um, I need a lot more stone brick stairs than I thought I did because I forgot I kind of capped off the entire top of the building with, them. oh, we've, yeah, we've got enough. Anyway, oh, as you'll notice here, I got two new things, two new music discs because Turns out my bow is actually really good for getting creepers down to like one hit point and then just get a skeleton to shoot them and yeah, it worked out quite well. Oh, also I got some more biofossils. Um, less for the reason that we need more dinosaurs and more for the fact I want another Diplocalus and I want to get the other amphibian, the Crassigenius, I think. I, I, I still haven't learned its name. I, it's gonna take me a while to learn its name. So let's just chuck those in there and we'll hope we get something we need. Anyway, if we hop up here real quick. Oh, that's another thing. I've, uh, I put a lot of the roofing in and we've got a cow in here now. So yeah, that's useful. Um, but if we hop up here, I just want to check. So this is the final level, I believe, for everything, isn't it? It should be. Um, yep, this should be, oh wait, no, I think we have, yeah, we have one more layer of concrete above this and then it will be done. Oh, is it? Oh, so someone, because believe it or not, people, I do read comments. Someone suggested I use those dead space rooms I have as a way to like dispose of items. So I guess like cactus or lava rooms to chuck stuff in. And I mean, that is a good idea. The problem is I have like, at least it, eh, not, eh, oh, actually maybe a bit in real life, but mostly in Minecraft, I do have a tiny bit of a hoarding complex. So I tend to, uh, just keep all the items I've found because I'm like, well, you never know. It'll, it could be useful someday. Anyway, we'll chuck the concrete up here. And I've just realized it doesn't actually need to be concrete, does it? And this, let me see. Actually, and this isn't even concrete because this is terracotta. Because if I actually do this correctly and then it'll actually go out to this point and then up two, I think. Yeah, it should be uh, like this. And that should hopefully finish off this. And I've just realized I may actually need to make that uh, you know what, let's actually just do that real quick because this actually does need to be terracotta because I forgot this is on the outside of the building, not the inside. All right, let's head back up. Um, oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I've got some interesting news or at least news I found to be interesting and that was uh, the return of the Wildlife Park series. So um, if you guys saw the channel, I guess yesterday, uh, you'll know I put up a uh, what, what, what was the series called? Wildlife Park, yeah. How did I forget the name of my own series? I don't know. Um, but I put up a Wildlife Park episode the, uh, yesterday because, well, I, I felt like recording something else. And I, like I said in that video, I wanted something that would do well and I knew that would do well. So I decided to go ahead with it. 
And I mean, I figured like, oh, it'll maybe get like one or 200 views the first day or something. Uh, no, it actually did way better than that. I believe the video is currently on 600 views and like 24 hours or something. I mean, which for some people, you know, that's not very much like to super big YouTubers. But to me, that's that's pretty crazy because uh, on average, especially for things that weren't aren't like, you know, my mainstream series like this one is um, me getting that many views on the first episode is pretty darn rare. Uh, but you guys seem to enjoy that, so it'll definitely be uh, continuing on the channel. Uh, I don't know what the schedule for uploads is going to be, because to be honest, I think dinos are still going to be a majority of the uploads, uh, just purely due to the fact that I... Well, between the two, I spend a lot more time on uh, doing dino stuff than, you know, preparing for a wildlife park thing. Even back in the day when we did both, uh, I did way more of the dino stuff than I ever did wildlife park. And that's just because, to be honest, Dino's World's just a bit more fun to be on because it's survival. So I actually have to, like, farm for stuff. And I don't know. I mean, both are fun at the end of the day. I've, I've pleasantly enjoyed both. And this is going to be... Dif oh, actually, no, this gives me pretty good access to the roof. And then... That's annoying. Um, let me... Where's the zombie at? It's downstairs. Do I not have an area lit up? Oh, also, I've attempted the botanical area. It, it doesn't look good right now. I'm going to work on it at a later date. I bet you it's in one of the like hollow rooms down in the bottom floor. Hmm, do you know what I'm actually gonna do here? I'm actually gonna lower this down by one because I, I'm thinking that might look better. Give it height variation because height variation is a good thing when building. But let me see, does this then directly and then I could shorten those windows down by one, I guess. Um, I will figure that out. Let me actually... Uh, let's see. And then we do like this. Get our crenellation going. And I believe what I want to do here is like that. All right, and then like this, and then obviously we'll put the uh, stone uh, slabs down and stuff. And uh, well, I've got a, I'm gonna do a roof, uh, and that'll be mostly gravel. I don't know how much gravel I actually have left. I probably have more than I think I do. Um, I'll check, but I'm considering putting like uh, AC units and stuff up here. Like, a, uh, what would it be? Radio antenna, stuff like that on top of this building to, I don't know, Give it a bit more character, one might say. Um, let's see. And then I need to do this for the main purpose of... It does That doesn't need to be there, but this will need to be here. And then let's get rid of the axe, throw down some torches in there. And then we'll cover this all up with the terracotta. So that way when we put the roof in and everything, it all looks super uniform, which is nice because uniformity in these kind of buildings always looks good. Um, and I kind of think we're gonna actually have it overhang a tiny bit like that because I think that might look even better. So we'll just cover all that up and now we just gotta finish it out basically. Get all this in. Ba, 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 ba. And once this is done, and for those of you who are like, oh, where's the dino actual dinosaur stuff? It, it Don't worry guys. The We'll be working on exhibits next episode. I am, I'm not sure which one I want to do next. Actually, oh, I, I do actually have other stuff I need to show off, don't I? I did, ooh, 
did actually get that sweet. Um, we did a tiny bit of work on some of the landscaping around the park. And actually, what do we need to do now? We need to, oh, actually I should just chuck this down because I moved the jukebox over here. We can have that playing. Um, I'm gonna get a drink of water real quick. Very professional, but it's also like, I don't know, like 110 degrees outside or something. So it's, I have a window with the blinds not up and that's probably a terrible idea, but if I, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll leave it. Future Caden will deal with it. Um, let's see, let's get some slabs. There we go. And we can head back in. Oh, and we can uh, check the biofossil. Okay, yeah, now this looks pretty good. So we've got all this front side, and then we've got all that, and this, that. Should that be connected with? I think it should. Yeah, we'll connect that up with some terracotta. Let me check the, and it's already gone through it. I, I, I full on believe that they've upped the speed of these analyzers. Anyway, let's see. We got coelacanth mangonera, gallimimus. No, nope. okay, so we still have to, oh, finally we get a dryosaurus uh, without, you know, the previous system where it was broken and we kind of technically cheated for dryosaur DNA. But now we finally get dryosaurs, but we can't get the new creature, which seems to always be the way this mod works and it's kind of annoying. And I'm definitely going to need to scaffold on the inside of the building to finish off the ceiling here, which is kind of annoying. I was considering putting a skylight here actually, but I don't think I want to because I wanted to do a, like a big uh, modern kind of chandelier looking thing. So yeah, that, that that's, pro well, I need to find an ocean monument, which is probably easier to find than I think, but I also haven't really found an ocean biome recently, so don't know where those would be and then I actually have to go find the monument and beat the monument and probably for the amount of sea lanterns I'd like for other projects I you know need to set up a guardian farm and all of that um and then we need to put the roof on this why did they look like these were at different heights I don't know Probably just a trick of the light or something, and then we do that. And technically, we've finished the building. I mean, there's not much else to do here, aside from, like, the top of the roof details. So, if I very quickly uh, swap that out for a shovel, break all this scaffolding here, which I can then use to actually get up to the ceiling on the other floor and we fill this in dun, dun, dun. we have a lab we officially have a lab which is pretty cool so yeah, we've got that looks pretty good that's pretty good this needs to be filled in there we go and now we just need to scaffold our way up here. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da. Let me see. Can I? Can't quite reach over there, but that's okay because of fast Oh, I don't even need to. I've got vines, which I, I'm not typically a fan of vines in this game. But for once, they've actually helped been helpful instead of a. Uh, you know, a problem like they usually are. Where was the thing? There was a thing. Anyway, let's just get rid of all this. Please? Yes, there we go. All right, so we have a laboratory. We have a lab. So yeah, I've got to finish up putting all the gravel up there and everything, and once that's done, um, I think once that's done, uh, which, yeah, I'm gonna do off camera because that's not really something interesting to watch. The laboratory will be 100% officially done. I mean, I'll probably add on, on like a couple of extra decorative bits. I guess I need to put the crenellations up there, but that's uh, future Cadence problem, not current Cadence problem. 
um because i'll need to probably knock the windows down by one change up how the windows work there maybe i will build a second floor but a second floor only accessible by uh stairs within the, that section maybe i could also build a balcony on it maybe do balconies yeah balconies are on modern buildings i i don't really look at a lot of modern architecture it really doesn't uh catch my eye as being that attractive for some reason uh i i don't know i like a bit more of a rustic feel with houses so i don't really know how it's supposed to look but i'm pretty happy with this from here may not be the best angle because well, i don't know i don't know what its best angle is this is not the best angle what about if we head over? Well, probably the front of the building is the best angle for it. Yeah, I mean, because you got the two giant terracotta, like, facades on there, the windows, those extra details, all the... Yeah, I think this is the best side of it, because this side's also kind of boring, since there's no windows, but just two giant white walls. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the lab. I think... I think it's a decent addition to the world. Um, and I guess what do I need to do now? Just start chucking more of the fossils and archaeology stuff in there for now? Oh, you guys did actually. I just remembered. Leave some comments. Uh, leaving suggestions for what I should do with the archaeology stuff. I got two main suggestions. And the first one was uh, just wait until the archaeology part of the mod is updated more. So I can actually just do that. And the second idea people gave, because apparently there aren't many archaeology type mods, so it was suggested that I install the Atum mod, or the Atom mod. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be said like. Uh, I'm not an Egyptologist, but I mean, the mod looked interesting, and I'll uh, look into installing it on this world if I feel like it. Um, other than that, what did I need to show? Oh, I was like, I know I did terraforming. Yeah, I got rid of the two giant water puddles here. And actually, yeah, let me just quickly say what I'm thinking about for here. So, uh, you guys know I have that small tank in there, and I'm considering what I wanted to put in there. And I was originally thinking, like, Diplocalis or a Tiktaalik or something. And I've been thinking that instead, what we might put in there are this, like, a coelacanth or something. And instead, do something a bit like the Visitor Center from Jurassic Park. Because you guys remember, if you've seen the movie, that there's, like, a big lake in front of it. Putting a small, like, curated pond up here and putting in some of the new amphibians and fish and stuff, because I think that could look pretty cool. Um, and then obviously we'll have the, like, holding pen behind it, which probably, in all honesty, will never be used. Um, what else have I done? But yeah, that's, that's one thing I'm thinking about. Um, I guess next episode, vote what you guys want to see next. Uh, Brachiosaurus... Uh, yeah, it's Brachiosaurus or Ankylosaurus, I guess. So either of those for new dinosaurs, or if you just want me to work a bit more on some of the current exhibits, get them looking a bit nicer, um, I'm up to do any of those things. But I think between the two, the... Sorry, I keep... My voice might keep, like, watching or something. Well, I mean, I changed my voice there, but, like, my nose is bothering me. It's, like, super itchy. Very annoying. Um, the Ankylosaurus exhibit, which is going to go here, is probably going to be way easier to make than the Brachiosaurus one, because the Brachiosaurus one extends, like, way out there, and way out there, and way up here, and then I've got to clear a bunch of trees, and plant a bunch of new ones, and cultivate the land to add a river in, and a whole bunch of stuff, and it's kind of crazy. Oh, speaking of which, I did actually kind of figure out what I want to do with the river now. Um, the river is actually going to stay, but it's not going to go that way. What I'm thinking is we're going to eat if I can get back up, uh, we might, we're either going to have the river start up there or up here somewhere and have it flow two different ways. So we'll have a, a secondary kind of offshoot that flows down into this valley and then flows into the Brachiosaurus, maybe the Ankylosaurus exhibit. Uh, Triceratops, we need to finish some of the terraforming here. Well, actually a lot of terraforming here. I'm going to rip out these, this version of the fence. We're going to put actual fences in. Um, I'm considering adding new fences in for the Pachycephalosaurus and the Stegosaurus uh, to make their exhibits look a bit nicer. A bit more terraforming on the Stegosaurus. Um, I need to finish off the rock area here. Oh, and I finally started uh, working on and finishing another bit of terraforming I started ages ago that I never actually finished. And that is, well, one, I filled it in the ravine part here, and two, I'm actually finally lowering or smoothing out the hill that was here. So. 
we're finally going to be able to reach this river basin here, and this is where I said I wanted to do a lot of exhibits like uh, the Platybelodon, Sarcosuchus, Dilophosaurus, I think should actually go down here, Ceratosaurus, uh, Spinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, a lot of river type dinosaurs. So dinosaurs I want to be near a river are going to go along this river. The river up by the lab, I don't think we're going to use for exhibits. Mostly just because I don't feel like there's a lot of good terrain going off that one. I know there's a good amount of terrain heading that way, and we've got the hill we can utilize and stuff. Um, because actually, if we if we head back over this way, I feel like that other river just leads straight into mountains, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. Like. It, it's been interesting trying to park plan this world because on one hand I'm like, oh, I know where all this stuff's gonna go. No, I have no clue. And in fact, there's several things I'm already considering moving around, like even at the house area, but I'm not going to. Uh, because, yeah, I was right. So it's like across this river, it's fairly large. And then that's not, that's a ton of hills. So that's not very useful to me. That's not a ton of hills, but it kind of just goes straight into mountains. And I don't know if I'm ready to go back to doing mountains and parks again, because goodness gracious, that was super painful last time I did that. Um, and I'm not sure I want to re-experience the pain. I need to actually update these maps. Um, let's see. I don't, again, I'm, I'm, I am very much considering switching out the texture, uh, not the texture pack, the shader pack I'm using. And you know what, the more I say it, the more I think I will because it's, it's kind of annoying to work with. So I'm, next episode, we'll probably have a different shaders uh, in the episode. But anyway, I think we're getting today's episode off here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, we're done with the lab. So yeah, make sure to let me know what you guys think I should work on for next episode. Uh, fixing a current exhibits, new exhibit, new dino. Uh, do you want me to work on the new amphibians or something? Uh, let me know and we'll get that done. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time, See ya.